I think we'll start this out with an example. You the filter chain is you're going to have a pass. Oh, you're grabbed by the function. Qualifier. Yeah, right. We might be wrong. We're funny, but not always a pass. So uh, we kind of talked with you already about some of the basics with regard to schedules of reinforcement. Um, so let's just jump right into it. We don't need to go back over it. Well, maybe we should just a little bit. Schedules of reinforcement, the patterns with which the reinforcers are actually, the, the patterns of which, <laughs> folks, leaves, it's fall. I mean, there's lots of fun to be had around here. Um, um, so the, the <laughs> this is deep and wet. This could be great, which I'm not being as naughty as that sounds, I promise. Um, but uh, the <laughs> uh, so schedules of reinforcement. Um, so we're going to look at two basic schedules right now. We might get into some others in a minute, depending on how long the video takes. So the fixed ratio. So when we when we think about non-continuous schedules, we think about intermittent schedules, right? Um, the first most basic one. <laughs> the first most basic ones are uh, the, the ratio schedules. <laughs> um, so the ratio schedules are pretty simple. They are. Um, focused on the number of responses that one makes before you earn a reinforcer. So let's say that um, Mr. Awesome Cameraman happens to have me on a VR4. Well, I've kicked these things, or sorry, an FR4, so a fixed ratio four. So I'm gonna engage in four behaviors in order to earn my reinforcer. So I'm gonna kick these once, I'm gonna kick them twice, I'm gonna kick them three times, and a fourth time. That was really awesome. All right, we got it. So a FR4, okay. So a fixed ratio of four means we're going to fix the amount of behavior that needs to happen before a reinforcer is delivered. That, in turn, produces some interesting patterns of responding. It produces this cool thing called a step, it produces this stepped effect, right? So if you're looking at behavior on the cumulative record, see the cumulative record videos, so um, it goes, whoop, the behavior goes up and it pauses and it goes up and then it pauses, right? So that stepped effect in the behavior is a predictable pattern. You can use that pattern to do all sorts of stuff. So anyway, um, to, uh, sorts of stuff, that pause, right? After, you, after you've done a whole bunch of these things, three and four. Yay! Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so now I'm on my post reinforcer pause. Why? I'm not engaging in the behavior. I'm not kicking the leaves. I'm not Aww. engaging in that particular. <laughs> not engaging in that particular response. So I'm on a pause. But here in a moment, because I'm on this FR4 schedule, I'm going to start a ratio run. One, two, three, four. Yay! That was the ratio run, right? Now, if he put me on like an FR75, so I'd have to kick the leaves 75 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't quite get that many. Uh, in other words, in other words, I'm going to have um, some what's called ratio strain, all right? So you're pushing too hard. You're requiring too much behavior in order for the reinforcers to maintain that. So I'm probably not gonna achieve that, um, the, <laughs> oops. I'm probably not gonna achieve that um, ratio, right? So the behavior's gonna die out. It's gonna go on extinction. So fixed ratio, stepped effect, if ish, if -ish resistance to extinction, and your post reinforcer pause. Some people will talk about a procrastination pause. So the post reinforcer pause, happens before the ratio run, right? Before the behavior starts to accelerate and complete the task. Um, so is this really post reinforcement? Maybe it's a procrastination pause because it starts before the run. Who knows? It's one of those kind of cool things that can go both ways. It uh, really depends on which article you're looking at. So anyway, that's it for the fixed ratios. Let's go into the variable ratios. So variable ratio schedules, we have no idea how many times I'm gonna have to get Yay! It could, Yay! Be, it could be a variable ratio of five. Yay! Average five responses. It could be a variable Yay! ratio of seven. It could be a variable ratio of 30. So I have no idea how much I'm going to have to engage in behavior. Yay! Reinforcers, which guess what? It maintains a strong, steady rate of responding. It keeps the response rate up there. All right? Keeps it moving. That's not a leaf. Um, it keeps it moving pretty quick. It also means it's highly resistant to extinction. So how does it work? Variable ratio. On average, a particular number of responses is reinforced. So a VR10, on average, the 10th response I make of kicking the leaves is gonna be reinforced. That might mean I get reinforced after the first one. Yay! Or it might be I get reinforced after 15 of them. And I'm not gonna do 15, but you get the idea, right? So it can maintain all sorts of behavior. Um, the variable um, interval, or sorry, the variable ratio and, and the variable interval schedule, which we'll get into, do maintain strong steady rates of responding, and they're also highly resistant to extinction. 
those are the types of um, schedules that we see often in the real world, all right? There's not a lot of fixed stuff that we typically run. There are, my brain's kind of come off with too many examples as I say that, but um, the point is, is that the variable ones are the ones that we often like to work with the most. Um, so let's get into interval schedules. Interval schedules are really not about the number of responses because you only really need one. Um, they're really about time. So a fixed interval schedule. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, so now that we've done all this stuff, I've realized maybe this, this ratio schedule video went a little long. I'm gonna pause. We're gonna go do a variable interval schedule on another video because, or the variable schedule, or sorry, the interval schedule's on a different video because, well, you know, this one's just getting a bit long. We try to keep these things about five minutes. So just for a quick primer, just a quick reminder, ratio schedules are about the number of responses and then a reinforcer delivered after a certain number of responses. We're gonna get into the interval schedules, which are about amount of time and then a response. So that's all I got on variable ratios and fixed ratios. Anyway, just in general, schedules of reinforcement are awesome because Skinner never expected we'd be standing in a pile of leaves in the snow in a suit delivering information that you might find useful. Have a good day.